Hi, I'm Dan Call, the president of Gorilla Music and co-author of Rock Your City. Today, I'd like to talk to you about commitment. During the coaching process, one question helps me determine each group's level of commitment. Is your practice schedule set in stone? In other words, are your practices on the same days and the same times each week? This question can often help a group determine who's committed to the project and who's just in it for a good time. Groups that do not have a set rehearsal schedule are almost never as committed as a group that do have a set rehearsal schedule. Sometimes it's just one individual that hinders the group from keeping a regular schedule, but in reality a group should be able to rehearse with or without all of its members. Only rehearsing when every member is available is not an effective way to get things done. Once you agree to a practice schedule, what you're really doing is making a commitment. A commitment to crafting your art and to each other. It says on that day, at that time, the most important thing in your life is your music. It sends a message to your conscious and your subconscious mind and to the other members of the group, to your loved ones and to the rest of the world that you are serious and committed to this project. That this is really important to you. If you do not have a set practice schedule, what you're actually saying to yourself, to the other members of the group and to the world, that this isn't important enough for you to schedule time for it. Success requires sacrifice and you're going to need to decide what writing great music is worth to you. Set your rehearsal schedule in stone. Make each session count by making it long enough to get things accomplished. And try to make writing your central focus. Once you have a rehearsal schedule, understand that sometimes things will come up and you'll occasionally need to be flexible. Just make sure it doesn't become a habit and never cancel practice just because one person can't make it. You can always write songs without them or have a sectional rehearsal. For example, if your singer can't make it to practice, use the time to work on the rhythm section. Or if the drummer can't make it, work on the melody or vocal parts. It's important to schedule sectional rehearsals anyways, so these occasions are perfect time for them. I'm Dan Call, wishing you and your band the very best. If you're interested in learning more about the music business, then stop by one of our sites at GorillaMusic.com or RockYourCityBooks.com.